As always. James, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Have a seat. We'll talk. So James Ellis the second is with us. You're the second, right? Yes, sir. Who's the first? My father. Was he a football player too? Uh, he played in high school, but he ran track. He was a track runner. You know, I'm gonna break it down quick. I saw some of your film today from that game I guess against Central. Watch that on that uh, Max Preps. They got the, the huddle videos there. Some very good work. Thank you. You had a big game there. Yes, sir. Big game. You wear number 80, right? Yes, sir. And does your dad, does he go to the fitness center? He still works out today? Oh, yeah. Me and him work out together all the time. Well, tell me where you, I th I'm gonna, let me guess where you guys work out. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm going to kind of take it, sir. Okay, I'm going to head that way. We're heading down Battleground Avenue. Am I right? Yes, sir. Go down that Battleground. Go, go down and take a right. Do we go up that hill. Do we go up that hill there? To the left is the Old Gold's Gym, right? To the left. Right. Down Battleground. We're, and we go to the right. We go up that hill. Well, I work out at the Old Gold's Gym. Yeah. Strong. I was, that's what I was going to say. Now they got the gold gym with the rush. Right, yeah. the but we're going down that battle. We take a right up that hill to strive. That's what you guys work out, right? Yes, sir. I knew it. And your dad works out there, too. Yes, sir. I got the word back on. Been in a long time. Pretty good while ago. Football on Focus, by the way. Shane Trader check for a Thursday. James Ellis is second with us from Page. But I got the word from my main man. He said, watch out for this kid. I met his dad. And they work out uh, the stride. And this old, this is an old, old gentleman, but he's wise, very wise. Coach Slayton. Okay. Yeah. Met, okay. He told me about Ellis, and I think he'll probably watch this back. We get it on uh, YouTube tomorrow. We're going to pick up outside too. But uh, he said, "Watch out for this kid." I said, "I'm going to keep an eye." And I went to the scrimmage when you guys were over at Dudley. You played uh -huh. against two or three different teams there. Watch that number eighty. I said, number 80. I said Ellis, I told Coach, I said, "Ellis is looking pretty good." Then last week, I guess you, either last week, you had a couple of touchdowns here recently too, right? Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. I told Coach Slade, he said, this kid's coming around. Yes, and your dad had told me, he said, this kid's for real. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, that's some good stuff. You get, you, get, you get the word like that from Coach Slate, you're doing pretty well. Oh, yeah, I love Coach Slate. He's, He's a, good, a, a good mentor, a good trainer, yes, bringing yes, guys along. And I know your dad will appreciate the fact that Coach Slate had been putting a good word out about you, too, as well. How long have you been uh, playing football? Uh, I've been playing since seventh grade. Seventh grade. Start out in uh, middle school, I guess? Yes, sir. And, uh, okay. What school? What school? Minden Hall Middle School. Did pretty well there back on yes, the Mustangs? Sir. Loved it. How about this quarterback, Will Jones? What can you tell me about your quarterback, Will? What kind of quarterback is he? Um, what, for one, he's my best friend. I love Will. Um, he hangs all the time. But he's a great quarterback, great pocket passer, but people don't realize that he can run really well also. He can move pretty well, too. He's pretty elusive. What's your best move as a receiver? I'm looking for James Ellis a second to get out there get open. What's your best? Because I watched that film today. That's kind of fun because I've not watched a ton of huddle stuff. Right. I see videos here and there, but they put the little circle on you when you're going out there when you're doing it. But I watched you not only some pretty good routes, you're doing some pretty good blocking, too. But what's, what's your favorite pass Because there's a couple of times, I'll say this, too. I want to talk about everything I saw today. A couple of times, you were wide open. You were wide open. But so sometimes you, one time you bumped up receiver, but receiver got a little bit of space and got the catch too. So what's your favorite route? Uh, my favorite route, I'd probably say the out route or the dig route, just because it's all about the cut and the jab and the head move. This is really fun. Now this is your senior year this year? Yes, sir. Is it all coming together this year for you? When, and when did it start to come together? I remember you a little bit maybe last year, but didn't know much about you. Didn't know I'm starting to hear a lot about you now. So when did all this start to come together here for your senior year? Um, I think in the preseason, just working with my teammates, getting better every day. All of us just working hard. That's why our record is so good right now. Mm -hmm. We just work really hard. It's been a good team effort this year then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does it, now here's another good question. We hadn't even got to these yet. Let's get to the Stover Tall 101. Does it help your game any at all? A little bit? Maybe just to maybe some the fact that these other guys are watching Overton a lot too. Maybe some extra coverage on Overton. Maybe open things up a little bit more. Is that a possibility? Well, Dre's a great player. We all know that. And, um, a lot of teams have been focusing on him. And we've got great receivers, Ronald Polite, Miles Faison, myself, and Dre. We just all work hard. We're all brothers and stuff like that. So. And Faison must be doing pretty well on defense, too, is he? Oh, yeah, he's been playing some corner. DeAndre and Miles. Yeah, I saw DeAndre picked up an interception for a TD maybe last week. That's pretty good, too. And Faison in that first game of the year. Who did you guys play in that first Davey game? Davey County. He was tearing it up that night. Huge game. Huge, huge game. game. Huge game. Face it. Plus, he's got to behave, too, because his mom's a principal, right? This kid can't get a break anywhere. He can't slip up at all. He's got to be Mr. Ent all the time. But uh, James Ellis the second with this. Shane Drew at Page High School football. Got Ragsdale. What's, what's the game plan for you tomorrow, your game? What do you got to do tomorrow? Uh, just to play my role. 
just don't do anything extra, don't do anything less, just play 100%. Coach G always says play 100% and do your thing, do your plays. It'll be fine. Is it hard coming out of that first play of the game? Maybe you're going to be in the route somewhere, not to just try to run down that field and just blow past your defender. I want to go to the house for it. Is it hard that first part of the game? No, we're, it's such a team effort. Mm -hmm. We just love each other. Mm -hmm. Whoever does good, it feels like we've all blown past the defense. So when you're doing it, you're not only doing it for James, you're doing it for DeAndre, you're doing it for Faison, you're doing it for all those guys out there yes. involved those routes. Of course. It's got to be good. Got to be good. What about this game tonight, the big NFL game? Going to watch you that tonight? Oh, yeah. I plan on watching it Thursday night, regular season. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. I've been asking this question people all day long. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. If not, we'll find out maybe together. What time does that game start? Is it an 8 o'clock game or 9 o'clock game? I'm thinking it's 8.30. 8 8 9. That might be a good move. Maybe split it down the middle. I thought it was a little earlier since it's a weekday kind of yeah. game. So you're going to lean toward the Patriots or lean toward the Steelers? Uh, probably going to go with the Steelers just because the Patriots. I don't know. I've never liked them like that. You know, I don't either. I mean, I can't help but respect that team oh, yeah. and what Tom Brady's done. But I never liked Tom Brady. I think, I think Tom was just – he got in trouble, I guess. I but can't he, believe he, he got, got out of trouble. He got in trouble. He got out of trouble, and he got through that. How that happened, I don't know. But uh, it makes. I, mean, I guess they do all this stuff probably just to bring attention to the NFL. I mean, maybe all this is not even happening. Maybe it didn't even occur. But what do you think? Would they just try to get NFL talk? We're sure talking about it now. I mean, I'm but, a huge Antonio Brown fan. So. And he is with again. Refresh my memory. Steelers. And receiver. Yes, sir. Wide receiver or tight end. Wide receiver. And your wide receiver. Do you guys even have a tight end anymore? Do even? Um, we technically. We have a wide that's Ronald Polite. He's, he's got wide receiver skills. And do you want to take this to the next level? Of course. Yes, Looking yes. toward college. Yes, How do you get uh, in touch with these guys, get noticed, get that name out there to get these guys talking about James Ellis II? Uh, Coach G, he's got a packet that's got a bunch of recruits on it and stuff like that from the team. So when colleges come, they just see that packet and get to look at our huddles. And stuff. So the package is a packet is like on you and each individual player. It's got the tape and stuff available, that kind of thing? It's got our positions, birthdays, mm -hmm. highlight tape. Everything. Got any favorite schools you might want to go to? Um, I just took an unofficial to App State last week. It was pretty fun. They played Howard University. They beat them 49-0. It was a pretty yeah, good game. Yeah, put some points up in that game. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I may be wrong. I'm not talking. I'm not trying to down anybody. I don't think it's going to be the same result this week in Fry Blashing. <laughs> Against Clemson. Yeah, I know. I think it's going to be a little Who different. Knows? Maybe this week, but we'll find out. I hope they do well. Western Carolina may be coming through the house too today. I'd see those guys. It's not a bad school. Go back. No, it's not. I've got a um, my dad's friend's son plays there, John McBeth. Oh, big John. Yeah, the yeah, defense. He played at Northern Guilford. Yeah, John was a good man. Good oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. I think He's he might cool be playing guy. defensive end up there. John. He's yeah. huge now too. I heard he got bigger because oh, yeah. back in the day, John was actually when I knew him when he was younger, he was better in basketball than he was football. But uh, as some players have that tendency to do, like John Robertson's another kind of had that move toward football and kind of get away a little bit from basketball. But boy, McBeth is he's come a long way. Oh, yeah, he's huge. They got to Another kid too was kind of like that. His name was uh, Malik Hampton Prelude. Remember? Yeah, he's Prelude. at A and T. Right? Yeah, that's him. Oh, he was yeah, D lineman. He was kind of a basketball kind of guy. Then he kind of hybrided over toward a little football too and became in that situation over at Northern. What about the Panthers in Jacksonville Sunday? Like that game? Yeah, I gotta go for the Panthers just because it's hometown team. Do you like uh, Steve Smith? Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan. Would you like to bring him back to the pan? I try to get this guy back every week. I would love to see 89 back in the blue. That's mm -hmm. awesome. I would like it because it's his he's retiring after this year. It's his retirement year. Yeah. Why not make it all come together? It, it's not like he wouldn't help the Panthers. They need right. some help receiver right now. I mean, they got guys that are going down, guys losing guys to the season. That Funches kid that came in, I think, from Michigan, he got a little bit tweaked up, a little injured, too. Yeah. Yeah. They Kelvin need some Benjamin help. Towards ACL. Yeah. He's gone for the year, right? Plus, another guy I looked at, too. I don't mind seeing this guy. Getting this guy, Hakeem Nix. Have you ever heard of him? Yeah. Played with the Giants, had Love the Super Bowl Hakeem ring. Nicks. Yeah, I like that guy, too. And he's still fairly young. I'm always trying to make deals, trying to get these guys, get players in here. Right. I think you you got to – the guy said it years ago, ask how, your dad probably he, – he was a track man, a little football too. Ask me if I've heard this name as a coach. George Allen was an old coach many years ago. Washington Redskins. George Allen's theme was when he coached, the future is now. I'm not worried about next year. I'm not worried about even probably – Six months. I'm worried about right now. Right. We need players to win right now. I'm sure you're, you're probably thinking it's your senior year. This is your future right now. Oh yeah. This is it. You got to win tomorrow night. No disrespect, to it, but you got to win tomorrow night. And make this happen. At a time. You got to. You got to go four and zero. If you don't, we are taking a step back. You got to win that game tomorrow night. Um, NC A and T in North Carolina. Any thoughts about that one? Who do you lean toward there? I mean, I know you'll probably um, lean toward North I'm Carolina. Going, I'll actually be at that game. Okay. My, both of my parents went to A and T, so I got to pull for A and T. Right. Right. What do you think they got to do to be in that game? Um, just play competitively, put some pressure on Marquise Williams. Mm -hmm. I think. 
They got some good players. The funny play. thing is that quarterback, Lamar Reynard, sat right in that same chair. Either that one or this one. Won. He's been with us a couple of times this show of the years. Good young man. I'm glad he's getting a shot. I just want to see the quarterback get hurt in that game. Right. Don't let your quarterback get injured that game because you're going to need him later in the year in those conference games. Right. Don't make it a game where some even like that, uh, the, I think it was Tariq Cohen, the fine running back they've got. Don't let that guy get messed up. He's awesome. He, I've been watching him play. He's great. He can move. He's got, so is A&T a possibility for you? You know, I'd love to play there if they gave me the opportunity. It's a, it's a possibility then. Again, with us, James Ellis the second, number 80 for the Page Pirates. One of your guys on your team was wearing 18 when the screen was. So who wears number 18? Ronald Polite. Tell that kid I want that number. I got to put that number up in the gym. No, I'm just kidding. James number, never forget. That's crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy. He's a great player, also. Yeah, yeah I'll tell you that guy. I grew I up watching him. Mm. Yeah, I did too. I guess I was older growing up watching him as well, like you, man. I used to love to watch that guy play. I told uh, Harrison about a game rags that when James is in. I said, like, Page couldn't get any points. So James just took the ball, wrapped the field for a touchdown. 65 yards, he was gone. And he could play defense too. Oh, yeah. Safety. Yeah, he intercepted a pass in that state yeah. championship game. It was crazy stuff he did back in the day. If you could play the games any other day of the week other than Friday, what day do you play? Um, I play Wednesday because it's hump day in the middle of the week. Might be a good way to kind of split the week up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It'd be interesting, too, because you're preparing for the team the first half of the week and preparing for the other team the other half, half of the week. Of the week. Yeah. You may have to practice on Saturday, though, to get it all in order. I'm not sure because you get a few extra off days in there, too. It's football, though. you got to love it. Practice is fun. Saturday is Practice day can be fun. fun. Yeah, it can be fun. It's you... hard work, though. What about – I'm, I'm jumping off the sheet again, but I'll ask you some more things. What about that play we saw on film this week with the two kids in that football game I guess what state? I don't know if I what state it was in now. It might have been Florida. It was in Texas. Was it Texas? Yeah, Texas. I guess whatever it was. The two, yeah, John J. High School in Texas, where the defensive back hit the official, and the other guy hit the official. What did you think about that play? That was crazy. My dad showed me that, and I just couldn't believe it. Mm. I couldn't believe it. I, it was unreal. I'd never seen anything like that before in my life, for the most part. Can't believe it happened. Crazy, crazy stuff. Let's see some more questions for James. Let's a second here. We're winding it down. James Rich for a Thursday. You're thinking about uh, thirst. You're about deprived of water or fluids. What do you take? You go to save your thirst. You go Gatorade, water, Coke slash Pepsi, or tea. What do you run to? I'm a Gatorade guy. I've been drinking Gatorade my whole life. So that could probably fill you back up in a hurry, get you back in shape quick, real quick. Can you tell us a page player currently playing in college? Currently playing in yeah, college. Currently. Well, James Summers just got back on the team. Yeah, we heard about that. So you can, awesome. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Ed Britt down at Presbyterian. Absolutely. He's playing great. Absolutely. A whole bunch of guys from the state championship team. Sean Workinger. Yeah, Workinger's the guy we haven't mentioned yet. We mentioned uh, the Cranford kid. We mentioned Cranford. Cranford. Yeah. Well, Sean Workinger. I'll tell you what, that guy, that guy was a horse. He's he was a horse. And he, um, he comes back and during the offseason practices and stuff like that. We get to see him work during the summer. It's school. amazing. I remember that state championship game playing Wake Forest from page one that Saturday afternoon when they defeated the team out of Garner, the Trojans. But Workinger that day was a factor because he was a big fullback. He was a, he was a factor in that game. People wanted no parts in all season. And, he, and the thing about that kid was he usually had a smile on his face, had a little smirk. He knew he could take that control. He, he was tough. He was a muscle ball. Great kid. Great kid back in the day. What do you think is the toughest part of football practice? Toughest part of practice? The toughest part is probably when we mess up and we have gassers, that kind of stuff, and then keeping the intensity afterwards. But got to do it. What about the easiest part? Is there an easy part? The easiest part is just being out there with the guys, just having fun. Those are my best friends. I love them. What Wouldn't about the, we, the we asked Harrison about this. What do you remember most about that first practice? It was a day slash night practice, first practice of the year. Oh, midnight. Yeah. What do you remember most about it's that? It's pretty exciting. We got to see that we have a lot of support from the fans. <laughs> sure do. They were oh, out man. there great. It was yeah. awesome. It was almost, I told you, it was almost like going to a carnival. Right. There was yeah. so much going on. And people, all different groups of people in all different places. And, and they had the music playing. And the music was coming out there loud and clear. Yeah. They were set up concessions. I mean, it was like, yeah. it was like a major event that awesome. night. Major event. What's your favorite sport other than football? What do you like to play? Uh, basketball. 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 Do you play anymore? No? no, not anymore. You may be called upon yeah. this year. We may need you this year, Paige. All things considered. Oh, they're going to be fine. As you well know, we may, they're going to be okay? Yeah. They're going to be just fine. Okay. Okay. We lost some great players. Some I know. That's what I'm thinking. Too. Yeah, some they're good guys. Be fine. I tell you, Seegers, I don't care if you left or not. Seegers is a good kid. <laughs> oh, Seegers yeah. is one of my main men. I always oh, like Jalen Seegers. Good kid. I love Jalen. See, Jalen Rand always got a smile. He's just a good kid. Good kid. The rest of them, all, I like all of them too, but Jalen, for some reason, I used to love to watch that kid play because he could block, he could score, he could rebound, he could do everything. 
and he did a you know very uh, it wasn't like a lot of energy, a lot of effort. He's a smooth, smooth yeah. player. And then I've just I've been around those guys for a while. Like Ty, me and him have been friends since fourth grade. Mm-hmm. Tyron Melton, David Funderburg, probably Benton Hall, all those guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing. James Hill is the second with us. Page High School going to wrap it up in just a second here. Talk about the favorite sport other than football, maybe basketball. Um, favorite college team? Um, what sport? Football. Football, I've always been a USC Trojan fan. Just, they've always stood out to me since Reggie Bush. And that's the school Coach Hayden's at right now, and Pat Hayden AD there right now, trying to get that turn around. Yep. What about uh, favorite school as far as basketball goes? Oh, I'm a Blue Devil fan. Blue Devil fan? Yes, Duke, wow. Way. Any Duke Blue Devil players that kind of turned you that direction over the years? Um, I've liked all of them, really. I'm a huge Curry fan, Seth Curry. I'm mm-hmm. glad he's on the team now in the NBA. Um, just Tyus Jones, a little Did you ever get to meet those guys? No, I've never met any yeah. of them. Ever met any big sports celebrities, guys that really impressed um, you, or is it uh, you're working so you're so busy you don't have time to meet these? What was, what was that? Um, I've met a few guys. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like James Summers, honestly, is just a huge sports guy to me. He's been yeah. watching him since I was a little. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I always like to see you. You're right about that. That's a good point. Good He's point. awesome. Yeah. He's, um, actually, Chris Jaspers from um, Huge Man. Huge Man. Oh, yeah. Marshall Thunder and Herd. Yep. I never forget these guys, man. I'll tell you, I remember them all. Yeah. Jaspers was just, he was, Jaspers was just big out of his big. Oh, big huge. shirt, big everything, he's man. Huge. He's yeah. with the Bengals now, I think. Is he really made it? Yes. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But I, I used so. to follow when he was at Mar- Marshall. He played in like these bowl games. Games and I mean, he made like all, all kinds of great, all oh, yeah, kinds of stuff. They they were a great team too with Raheem Cato and stuff. And like he that. had big yeah, hair too. Had dude had big, he had big everything. Was a big kid. The guy was huge. He talked to us this summer. Did he really? He's a great guy. Love that guy. Well, James, I'll probably let you get rolling. Good luck yeah. in that game tomorrow night. It. And it. I'll tell Coach Slate I'm gonna get him to go back and watch this. So take That's it down. We got Coach Slate on board. He's been in, in your corner for a long time. That's if you need anything, call that man. He can help you out. I love Coach Slater. You got it. Thank all you again, James. Good luck to you. Thank you. James Ellis is second with us up next. I think we'll.